to thank Greg Parker because this is all his setup, part of the uh, Chicago Blues Museum, and he has a lot of jazz. This is the guy right here who is responsible for this, so please give him a yeah. big, big round of applause. He has some amazing stuff as you sit there and watch this stuff. The sound, the clarity, the performers, absolutely incredible. Uh, and there's no, nothing like it, I think, anywhere in Chicago. He does exhibits around the city, and uh, he'll tell you more about that later on. But what I do want to tell you is that Chicago Public Radio, WBEZ, where we play a lot of jazz, right. our, our booth is right next door. Stop by and see us and say hello. We have some things we'd like to share with you about our schedules and when we play music and uh, some of the things we're doing next month. Each month we feature uh, an artist or a given style. Next month is a celebration of the 75th birthday of Horace Silver. So we'll be playing a lot of Horace Silver next month and also the 75th birthday celebration of Cannonball Adderley. So we'll be doing both of those next month. And we want, want to make sure that you tune in and check it out. We'll be playing those throughout the month along with all the other jazz artists that we play. Uh, just so you'll know who we are, uh, our, our on-air uh, personalities and jazz hosts are Chris Hine, Dan Bender, Larry Smith. <laughs> Somebody who goes way back with Larry Smith. Uh, uh, Sarah Toulouse, and we also have um, blues on the weekend. I don't know if you had a chance to hear uh, Niles France and uh, Coming Home, which is a blues show from 9 to midnight on Saturday night. And then at the cold train days, uh, during, 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 the, during the days when uh, Elvin was with him, uh, can you name the uh, bass player during that period? Not you already won. All right. Woo. Good last name, bad first name. Jimmy Garrison. Who said Jimmy? Okay, come on, man. Get this early John Coltrane photo. Man, he must have been about 12. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Uh, okay, another Coltrane. Uh, okay. That worked out all right. Name the very famous Coltrane composition that everybody plays. It starts with the letter N as in no. What's the. Naima. Come on, man. There you go, Naima. All right. What's your jazz IQ? All right, here's a couple. Oh, here's a little. Here's a little different. <laughs> here's this is just a little bit different. We got some Ike and Tina Turner. Wow, Tina. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Watch <laughs> it. All right, uh, Ike and Tina Turner. Can you name any uh, Tina Turner hit? Did you win already? <laughs> All right, what's love got to do with it? Come on, you already won, so okay. What's love got to do? Come on, man. All right, what's, what's love got to do with it? Can you name another one? River Deep Mountain High. River Deep Mountain High. Yeah, that was Ike and Tina. All right, there you go. You know what to do. All right. All right. Here's another Miles. This is, boy, Miles was about well, Miles must have been about 25 in this, on this picture. But this was a very cool picture. Okay. All right. Everybody will know the answer to this one. The first one with the right answer. Uh, what was the best-selling Miles Davis album of all time? Who, who said that? You said what? Kind of Blue. There you go. Miles when he was a, a young man. All right. Okay, and I got, got one more Miles. Uh, and the question would be... Um, uh, let me see. The question would be... What... Hollywood actress was Miles married to at one point. Cicely Tyson, there you go. Yeah, there's Miles. I'm not being sexist, but I knew a woman would know the answer to that question. <laughs> Miles told a story in his book about how uh, he and Cicely got to fighting one time in a limo, and she, he said she snatched out his weave. <laughs> they had an interesting relationship. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up for now so you can get back to watching some great stuff on the Chicago Blues Museum. Greg Parker, a wonderful cat who has some great stuff. Please do stop by our WBEZ Chicago Public Radio booth over here and get some information, and you could win a prize. And we got a lot of stuff to give away and all of that. Uh, but we do want your support. We do appreciate it. When we have these pledge drives and we ask for some money, uh, don't hesitate because that keeps us going and makes uh, makes it possible for us to keep this jazz on the radio because it's hard to find jazz on the radio. I don't mean smooth jazz. It's hard to find straight ahead jazz on the radio. So there are very few outlets to do that. Chicago Public Radio, WBEZ, 91.5 are one of the few uh, that does that. In, in this city, we have a pretty good reputation. 
for doing it and playing it well. So keep keep supporting us. All right. We're gonna. Hey, Greg. Greg Parker. All right, come on, man. Once again, uh, recognize this guy because he really does do a great job. He all this stuff. When I when I met him a couple of years ago, we've done some other projects together. He had screen, big screen. He had the hall, and this and that, speakers. But because of the age of technology, it's reduced to this with this beautiful picture and great sound. I mean, this is just, this is 2003, right? It's, it's incredible. It's the times we live in. Thank you, Greg. I mean, and after that, what about big hand for Richard Steele? WBZ, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. He was the one that talked me into this, by the way. So we've been trying to put this together for a year, and I'm glad it came together. So um, we got some requests there. Any, anybody that you want to see, we've got everybody. But we have to have three people agreeing on that. You want some earlier stuff, some recent stuff? I, I've, got, I've got a great piece. I've got some Parker, but it depends on if you have the time. Anybody out here see the Miles Davis story? Yeah. You want some music? Early? <laughs> you want some of the early stuff? Big band like Duke and Cab, or do you, would you prefer Coltrane? All right, I see Cab about two or three times, yeah? We'll let this finish up, and then I'll, I'll, I'll give you some real rare stuff that we just finished uh, doing through the computer and clean it up. And we'll do some miles. We're here all day. If you got the time, I got to get some more comfortable seats going. <laughs> all right, anyway, thanks for your time. Big hand for Richard. I'm going to let this finish off. Uh, BZ was the inspiration for this year. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we programmed came from listening to Richard and everybody on BZ to kind of know how to make it flow, because it's a difficult thing, and you got almost eight or nine hours of music to go through and popular songs. But one of the things, uh, this is the first year, I hope that next year we continue the, the tradition of the Jazz Festival work together. Now Richard's gonna ask a difficult question. This is a new poster that we're doing, and it's gotta be a hard question. These posters, after today, will be selling for 75 bucks. This is, we got a new printer, and they're very rare from the Savoy archive. We managed to find some of the plates and different things that they actually print their originals from. In somebody's basement on 47th Street, if you can believe that one. And uh, with Freddie Cole playing tonight, so I'm gonna turn it back over to Richard. Um, remember, BZ is a public radio station, so they need your support. Now, when we hook up the Blues Museum, we can use some of your change too, but right now, <laughs> right now, it's about BZ because they'll be able to continue. And I know you guys seen Richard on TV with the doo wop and things yeah, like that. Yeah. And we got a show called Remember the Regal that we're going to do again at South Shore Culture Center where we have two hours of footage of like James Brown from 63, Whoa. The Temptations, Whoa. Dinah Washington, Jackie Wilson, yeah. uh, Gladys Knight and the Pips. Everybody you can imagine that. Pete Meet Marker, Moms Mabley. And we show that on a 12 foot by 9 foot screen. And Robinson Ribs for the last three years cater. And so for 15 bucks, $10 to get in, and for $5, Robinson Ribs and a Drink. We had 1,150 people the first show. Right. Big crowd, so keep your eyes open for that, and I'm gonna turn this over to Richard, and we're gonna get on with that. Right. And by the way, if you had a tape up, uh, you didn't mention this one, and they, all, the, all the ladies in that audience went, oh, <laughs> Sam Cook. We got a lot oh. of this. And he, was, and he was at the top of his form, too, top of his game. It was absolutely great. Okay, so we got this Nat Cole. It is posted. Rare. It's okay. Only 500, and that's it. All right. Yeah, no more than that. So we gotta go make it real difficult, cause they, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. So okay. The question is, uh, what TV programs did Nat King Cole watch? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we know that uh, we know about uh, Matt and Freddie. Can you give me the first name of one of his other brothers? Ike. Uh, who? Ike. Ike Cole, you got it right, my oh, man. Ike, come on, you got the poster, brother. It's that easy. Yeah, see. <laughs> come on, don't be in no rush. <laughs> right, take your time. No, no, don't, don't rush. You know. You know what? And, and I tell you, there's a different because uh, I've been in radio a long time, done a lot of contests in a lot of places. There's a different psychology about men and women winning prizes. When women win prizes, they oh, and they win. Guys win prizes, they okay, that's cool, you know. Straight, you know. What's your name, right? Richard Taylor. You're Richard? Yay! 
That's a good name. Here you go, Richard. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Ike Cole, you're right, absolutely. A fine family of musicians. All right, so again, uh, tonight, don't, don't miss Freddie Cole, who, uh, Freddie, Freddie's a...